Okay, Shondri, do you have a ba bat around you? A cricket bat? I do. Yeah, so I would like to demonstrate the different types of uh, bat grips, you know, the bottom hand, the upper hand, the ideal uh, bat grip, uh, and these nuances attached uh, with uh, the bat grips. Okay, so that's a really great question, and, and I might not have all the answers, but I could offer some insight, of course. Um, so the basic bat grip, as we all know, is a V. You make a V at the top of the bat here, yeah? a V, the two hands together, so you put it down in front of you, and then you pick it up. So what, what, what I used to normally grip the bat is in the middle. So have a little bit space there, so slightly in the middle, and hands together. So I had a very bottom-handed grip. And so what I, so I was almost a club grip there. So I used to like to hit the ball far and long and hard. And so what I had to learn is that from time to time, if the bottom hand takes over, you lose shape and you get fooled very quickly. So you need to almost lessen that a little bit. And so what my coach suggested I do is basically you grip the bat, but then only hold with these two fingers, all right? So that you lead more with the top hand and so that your bat face comes through nice and straight. Now, if you're on the bottom hand grip, then you tend to break the shape earlier. However, if you're leading with the top hand, then it's easier to play. You understand? And so you're in a bit more control. Um, and some people who are, I mean, uh, Chris Gale, they like to have long levers, so they, they use uh, a, a long handle to bat with, and they will grip the bat slightly higher because they want a huge surface to hit with, okay? But that obviously requires a lot of strength. Um, and or typically the mistakes we make, and as coaches sometimes we forget to look at the hands of the players. So we think about all these amazing things and half the time the players are batting with their hands apart so they cannot control the bat. And the, each hand is moving independently. We want the hands to be able to move together. So my grip is to, my, um, Advice is to keep it as simple as possible. Try and get a comfortable grip for yourself. And most importantly, get a bat with a weight that suits your strength. We see sometimes Chris Gale bats with a three pound a bat. So now we want to say, no, it doesn't work that way. We've got to find out what works for Chandra, what works for Nishad, what works for Kathy, what works for the individual. And I feel sometimes that is where players get it wrong because if you have a heavier bat, then you've got to have a bottom grip because you cannot physically pick it up. However, it's slightly lighter, then it's easier to pick up, easier to cradle, easier and have a much more freer swing. Um, so that is my little advice is that sometimes let's just keep it to the basics instead of trying to be way ahead or completely copy someone else. You need to understand that we all have different hand sizes too. So that will determine how we keep the bat, what's the thickness of our grip, um, what's the thickness of our handle, what's the shape of our handles. So there's quite a few things to take into consideration um, with grips of the bats. Um, and so that is what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope um, um, that will help. Yes, yes. thank you so much, uh, Chandra. And having uh, spoken about the bat grips, what about the back lift? Today, back the lift. players, yeah. So, um, and, and there are many schools of thought. So I, I like to, um, when we teach younger players, is first to do the basic. Do it like the textbook first. So what people don't understand is that players who have um, different back grips or back lifts uh, um, is because they've developed it over time and it works for them. So Hashim Amla used to bat against the... Uh, the back door, and that is why he had to load up from the side. But if you watch him carefully, the bat face comes down straight. So that is the key. The idea is to have the bat face come down straight, face slight, slightly open face to first the second slip, whichever suits you. And well, the English players like to uh, bat up top and have their bat swing up top because you don't have a lot of time when someone is bowling really quickly at you. Even the Australians, they like to be up here with their back lift. All right. So, um, and that is depending on the type of surface you play on. So when I used to go to India, and when I played again, uh, um, against really good spinners on slow surfaces, I used to actually start slightly down uh, with my bat down um, behind my foot first. And only when the bowler is busy delivering, then I would go up because I used to play earlier. However, when I played against the boys, I was already up here waiting for them. And that's the adaptability we talk about. 
Um, and so we've got to make sure because the, uh, I needed to create some time, I needed to stand deeper in my crease and have my bat already up, ready to, for the downswing to get that maximum momentum and that crisp swing through. Um, so again, we talk about adaptability and same too with the back lift is whatever works for you. We sometimes, again, try to copy other people, copy the correct ones, but make sure it suits you and it fits you. Um, yeah, that's my little two cents on that. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sean. You can please say it. Uh, you <laughs> wonderfully demonstrated these basic things. You know, it's uh, absolutely yes. necessary that the students, young cricketers, do the basics uh, right. And your passion for the game was really there for everybody to see, Sean. Thank you so much. <laughs>